All right, all right. So, so you're a gamer, right? You, you, you experience some dumb shit like this. Is it, is that, is that happening quite often? You, you get an abandoned penalties because you're, you're just so, so goddamn laggy. Getting those, getting those cooldowns, those D ranks because you just have a shitty fucking connection for some reason. Well, you might have packet loss. A lot of people uh, get that NAT type uh, uh, restrict. Not, not because they need to port forward, because their internet needs to be reset. Or, you know, maybe uh, your computer that's been alive and running non-stop for about, uh, let's see, four days now, needs a good reboot. No, no Indian tech support here, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just, uh, I'll show you how to fix it. It's, it's not hard. See, I just joined a game of Rainbow Six, and everything was laggy as shit. Everything had... What is it, like, at least 40 middle seconds? R Rainbow does not do well with, uh, laggy internet connections. I mean, Jesus Christ. But, what is packet loss? Let's, let's get that out of the way. Well, when your computer negotiates with your router, usually, it's in form of a packet. So, your computer then sends a, say, a packet to your router, which the router then sends it to your ISP, which then sends it to whatever site or video game you're trying to connect to, and this happens probably about, hmm, I don't know, a billion times a second, I don't, like, what, fucking, or KB per se, it, it, it happens a lot, and it happens really quickly. There's a difference between high ping and packet loss. Packet loss is usually your ping will spike up to about 300 for about a split second, because the, negoti the the packets being traded between your router and your computer are, how you say, lost. Which is literally a several, in a video game such as Rainbow Six, is probably about 60 frames of information, which the server then loses, and you teleport like this. So usually, how you fix packet loss is not that hard. But how do you know it's not just you have Russian internet and packet loss? How, how, do you, how can you tell? Open up CMD. Simple, hit start. Type in CMD. Hit enter. You're going to bring up a command prompt. Now you need to find out your default router IP. You can either do this through IP config or you can just use 192.168.0.1. That's most likely your router's IP, let's be honest. So you're going to type this ping.192.168.0.1 dash n20 what this is going to do is it's going to request packets from your router itself and it's going to feed back a bunch of information and it's going to give you a little percent that's going to say how many of those packets were lost this is I've, i i had already reset my router so i've already fixed the problem but usually you'll have a bunch of 3, 4, 5, 6 milliseconds, and then you'll have one that jumps all the way up to 25, maybe even 30 milliseconds. So pay attention to that column shown above. Now, how to fix this? Give your computer some sleep. Give, give it a break, man. Restart it every night or some shit. Or, if that doesn't fucking work after you restart your computer, what you need to do is go to your router. There's going to be a power cable. Unplug it. Give it 5 seconds. Plug it back in. I know that's hard for people to understand, but this is this the Indian tech support is is this fixes ninety percent of your problems with the internet. If it doesn't fucking work, unplug it and plug it back in. Why, why do you think Sony has a hard time explaining your your problems with your PlayStation? It, it's not it's ninety percent because they've only been trained to unplug it and plug it back in. Seriously, I, I mean that literally. Like, if, if something isn't fucking working, turn it off and turn it back on. I'm not kidding. I am, I am not that... Just try it. Y'all have a good one. Hope this fixed your fucking problem.